Something strange was happening on Crab Island. Once alive with birds, lizards, and butterflies, the island was falling silent. Islanders noticed the eerie stillness. No birds, no rustling animals, just quiet. The vibrant life that defined their home was vanishing, replaced by an unsettling calm. A single, aggressive vine, the strangler vine, was taking over. It wrapped around ancient trees, blocked out the sun, and smothered native plants. The jungle's diversity faded, replaced by a suffocating blanket of green. The food web began to collapse, plants, insects, birds, and lizards all disappearing. Islanders tried to fight back, cutting the vines, but they grew faster than ever. The elders knew this silence was unnatural, a sign of deep sickness. The strangler vine was relentless, spreading season after season. The island's soul was being erased and no one knew how to stop it. The battle for Crab Island seemed hopeless. The silence grew heavier and the islander's desperation deepened. Something had to change or their paradise would be lost forever. The strangler vine, or mile-a-minute weed, was an invasive species. It arrived by accident, and without natural predators, it spread uncontrollably. The vine suffocated native plants, the foundation of the ecosystem. As plants vanished, so did butterflies, birds, and insects. The island's biodiversity plummeted, replaced by a barren green wasteland. Islanders fought back with machetes, but the vine always returned. Its roots were deep, its seeds everywhere, a relentless biological machine. Scientists arrived, shocked by the devastation. Chemicals were too dangerous, they needed a precise, natural solution. The only hope, find a natural enemy of the vine. The search for a hero began. Scientists found their champion, a tiny weevil from Asia. This insect specialized in eating only the mile-a-minute weed. Adult weevils fed on the leaves, larvae destroyed the vine from within. After years of testing, scientists confirmed the weevils wouldn't harm native plants. The plan? Breed millions of weevils and release them across Crab Island. It was a bold, targeted strike. Nature fighting nature. Volunteers and scientists carried boxes of weevils deep into the infested forests. On release day, they shook the insects onto the vines, creating multiple introduction points. The fate of Crab Island rested on these tiny, six-legged soldiers. The process was simple, but the stakes were enormous. The air soon buzzed with a new kind of life, one with a singular purpose. The Weevil's mission, save the island by destroying the invader. The gamble had begun. Release day brought hope and fear. Rumors spread. Some thought millions of wasps were being unleashed. Islanders stayed indoors, anxious and wary of the unknown. Scientists calmly released the weevils, showing they were harmless. Slowly, curiosity replaced fear as islanders saw the tiny insects up close. The weevils ignored people, focusing only on the strangler vine. Children pointed in wonder. Adults watched as anxiety turned to fascination. The drone in the air was no longer menacing, it was the sound of work. Islanders realized these insects were allies, not threats. The Great Biological War had begun, and hope returned to Crab Island. The community watched, united in cautious optimism. The change was dramatic. Within weeks, the mile-a-minute weed wilted, riddled with holes from the weevils. The relentless green blanket faded, sunlight returned to the forest floor, native plants sprouted from the soil, reclaiming their home. Butterflies, bees, lizards, and birds returned as the ecosystem revived. The forest symphony slowly came back to life. The weevils, with their food source dwindling, declined naturally. Crab Island found a new balance, restored, resilient, and alive. The story became a lesson. Nature is delicate and human actions have consequences. But by working with nature, not against it, healing is possible. The solution wasn't brute force, but a precise, natural answer. Crab Island's recovery is a story of hope and a reminder to be humble partners with nature.